Hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Vintage and Vino. Yes, we are. This is Tim, and I'm Jerry. Yes, I am. And we hope you enjoy. <laughs> we hope you enjoy this haul. I went to um, Goodwill and to Antique Trove um, Vendor Mall in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Yes, all oh, Scottsdale. Yay, Scottsdale. And I was with two wonderful friends, uh, other resellers, Kim with Desert Gal Curios and Susan of the Glassy Sisters. Now you can see us. <laughs> and so... Um, I didn't film because I just wanted a time to visit with the girls and, and enjoy your and enjoy my shopping day out with your lady buds. Right, so we're, so we're going to do a haul instead of shopping. There you are. Yeah, so I'm going to show you. You haven't seen any of it, so I haven't seen. I saw some of it. Yeah, but not all of it. No. So let's let's take a look and see what I picked up. Okay. Okay. First thing I picked up, I picked these up at Goodwill with, and when I was with Kim. Um, they're the vintage 1950s pre Tupperware canisters. Pre Tupperware. Pre Tupperware. This one is flour. Here's one for sugar. Matching. And this is tea. I believe there would have been four. There would have been another one this size that you stacked under it, and it was probably coffee. Oh, I see. And it would have been so they would all three be the same. They'd all three be the same height. Yeah. That would, yeah. So I don't have the coffee, but I, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And yeah, it's not I, a bad I, I like them. Pretty yeah. good, pretty good. Now this is a set of seven. Seven uh, mugs. We picked. I picked these up at the antique oh, trove. These are the Holt Howard. Ones these are Holt saw. Howard, and you guys, these are so interesting. Kind of scarce, actually. Cannot find another one. Rare find, eh? Yeah, a rare find. Here's the Holt 19, Howard. Holt Howard, 1963. 1963, Holt wow. Howard. I mean, Ghost. and there is a set of seven of these beauties. And I just thought they were wonderful. I guess, that, I would guess that to be a dove. Uh, yeah, a dove or a pigeon, I don't know. Maybe. I love the colors. They're bright colors. There's the back of it. So they're all the same, right? Yeah, they're all the same. And you got seven of them. Seven of them. Seven of them. Yes. Beautiful Holt Howard nice. mugs. Yes. Nice. Yes. There's two more. Yay. That's nice. And if you see something in this haul that you would like to buy, here's our email right here. Right down there at the and bottom. Shoot us an email. Absolutely. No, it's not, it's not a good time to try to fix it. But he's oh, going, I'm he's going, going to, to do it. He's going to do it. You know, he's the repair to. man. I'm fix it, guys. He's the shipping repairman. If I can fix it man. now, it saves me. Saves me to having to all the heartache of doing it later. That's true. This one is pretty. This this is a uh, uh, lacquerware. Lacquerware. I love this. Now I see people calling them bento boxes, and then I see people calling them uh, lacquerware stackables. Mm -hmm. I even saw one person calling it a canister set. Really? Yeah. Well, I. Uh, I guess yeah, you know. You could, I guess. Um, but they're so mid-century. This is such a nice mid-century look to it, you know. And they're different. They have different. Yeah, colors. different like, leaves. This one has red leaves on the bottom. Yeah. This one is green. And then this one's blue. Blue. And the top is blue and green and blue. Yeah. With gold. Anyway, it's really really nice. And uh, so I picked that up at the antique trove. Set of three. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that fun? That is cool. I know. I liked it a lot. It caught my eye right away. This one is really neat. This is neat. This is Fostoria Milk Glass. Um, hand, hand painted. painted. Oh, yeah. Hand painted milk glass. This is an antique. Yeah. And um, it's a little miniature lamp. Yeah, it's only about seven inches, six, seven inches tall. It's yeah, not very so, tall at all. I mean, this might have been one kind of like a flashlight. You take this one out to the outhouse. Oh. I don't know. I'm guessing. It would be easy <laughs> to carry. You could. It would yeah. be portable. It would be easy to carry, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. But I just thought that was kind of funny. It's your flashlight. Yeah, yeah. 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 A little miniature. Anyway, but Fostoria milk glass, hand-painted milk glass. Really, really cool. It's got the nice little globe on it, too, there. Yeah. Show you the painted on the painted part. Yeah, it's very nice. Very good. Yeah. Then we have a fridgy. 
Oh, got that in. Pick that up at Goodwill. Did I get the, I didn't get you the, get the tape no, right here. Oh. I didn't get the price tag off of it. Way to go. It's, it is a fridgy. It's just one of those smaller ones. But you know, if you can find these, uh, I think they're federal glass. I'm pretty sure the ones with the fruit on the top is federal, but I'm, I didn't look it up, so I'm gonna guess. But I'm, I'm sorry. I'm pretty just sure. Trying to take. Yeah, time to get the price tag off of it. That's we just got them yesterday, so this is a haul, a fresh haul, fresh, fresh stuff. haul, fresh stuff. Yeah. Well, I didn't get it all off. I got most of it off. Anyway, um, this is the small one. And uh, a little fridgy. On Once again, pre Tupperware. <laughs> pre Tupperware. Pre Tupperware. Yeah. So, um, isn't that nice? Got the fruit on top. And anytime you can pick them up and they're not chipped, they're that's great. Yeah, I don't see any chips on no. this. Of course, we didn't take the top off. Well, I didn't off, take so. the top off. And I guess there could be a chip somewhere on the top, but it's tight, Tony. I know, but I, oh. I, I broke one of them. I'll break them off. Okay. And then yeah. I can open it up and look at it. Oh, look at that. I think we're good. Yeah, no chips on it. No chips in that. How about that? Oh, it's got one little chippy right there. One little chippy. Well, on the there lid, you go. On the lid there right there. One little There's always a chippy. Hey, that's not bad. It's just yeah. like a flea bite. Yeah. So pick that up at Goodwill. <laughs> here's the here's the top. Mm -hmm. The fruit. Yeah. So nice. that's nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yes. Then we got a couple. You didn't take price tag off of these? Right? These are Linux. They're Linux. And uh, we found two sets of these, so Kim picked one up, too. We really liked them, and the price was right on them. Uh, picked them up at Goodwill, of all things. And you know what? They had the whole set to match, and, of course, everything was priced separately. Oh, I did see all that on there. Yeah. All that on that cart. Yeah, I was there, too. Yeah, oh, that's right. You were there. For a little while. But you know what? The teapots and the um, uh, all the sh sugar and creamer, they didn't have any resale value. from Well, from what Goodwill was asking for. Yeah. But the salt and peppers did. So we both picked up a shaker set. There's the Lennox. So Kim will have this on her eBay or Vamp yeah. as well. And so why? So there you go. But they're Linux. And they're neat. Cute little salt. Pepper. Yeah, they're really nice for Christmas. They're perfect for Christmas. I like them. Then we have, let's do these next. Okay. Now this is the new stuff. I just showed you vintage. Now I've got some new stuff to show you. Just because it's cool. And it's still got the tags on it. Four Christmas time placemats. Look, they're so cute. I just could not resist. They're um, Joanna Parker, I believe is the name yeah, of Joanna it. Yeah, Joanna Parker. Yeah. And um, I just loved the colors. I loved that it didn't go with that basic, you know, green, dark green, but yeah. more of a minty green. Yeah. It really did remind, have a vintage look to it, to me. So that's why I picked it up. Because it, it kind of has a Holt Howard look almost. It's got a really kind of yeah. kitschy Santa. And I liked it a lot. So 100% cotton. So you wouldn't want to dry them. 13 by 19. Yeah, you could wash them, but you wouldn't want to dry them. Um, with a big cotton, because they'll probably shrink. But they're pretty fantastic. Next, some pillowcases, huh? Pillow covers. Now here's what I like to do when I decorate for Christmas, which we're not decorating this year, but I take my regular pillows from my couch that you have on all year long that match everything, you know, and then I just cover them with one of these instant Christmas. Leave the covers, decor. the original covers on yeah, the pillow. Yeah, just, just because these zip up. Yeah. And you just shove your pillow in there, zip it up, and now you've got Christmas decoration. Yeah. yeah. Then you only have to store this. Yeah, you only have to store that instead of cool. the bulky pillow. Well, there's one that says Merry Christmas. Yeah, this one has Santa and says Merry Christmas. There's another Merry Christmas. I think there's two of those. Two just like this? Yeah. Oh, these two match. These okay. two match. Cool, yep. cool. Mm -hmm. There's another one that I saw. These that are like, was um, I'm guessing, 18 by 18 is my guess Here's, on here was, here was Here was my pillowcase when I was a kid. Yeah, I like yeah, I like this. Dear Santa, I can explain. I can explain. <laughs> and this is for one of those back pillows or whatever they call them. Okay. Low, you know, lower mm -hmm. back or yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then you have that. Then you have the naughty pillow. Naughty. You don't have a nice one, though. I don't have a nice. Yeah. No, well, you know, some of us just don't have any nice in us. Ooh. Ooh. 
But these are all new and in great, great condition. It's a little old, but I just, it's not the way. No, it's new. It's newer. Yeah. yeah. But, just a double I mean, I can remember it's at Santa's Christmas bag. when we kids always looking for something to put a larger package in, right? Yeah. It, it really doesn't want to open. It there does, you go. Though. There you go. She, he, he, he got it open. Well, oh, that's the back. <laughs> wrong side. Dirt. So this is great for giving a toy, like a stuffed a animal bag. or Santa's something. Toy yes. Yeah. Isn't that great? Do not open before December 25th. And special delivery for, and I guess you could write somebody's name down here if you didn't want, ever want to reuse it. Or maybe put it on a piece of tape. Yeah, put a piece of tape on I mean, on you would want to, it's like yeah, um, burlap, it. like a it. burlap yeah, bag, right? Yeah, it is burlap. A real heavy no, cotton. No, cotton. Real heavy cotton? Yeah, I don't know, but I like it. You dig it. I liked it, and so I picked it up. Because it's awesome. <laughs> is this, this is a gobel set? This is... Um, Victoria Ashley? Victoria Ashley. Oh, it's a uh, doll. Gobel. It's a, a tree topper. Angel. An angel tree topper. What? Oh, yeah. It's a tree topper? It is. Let's take that off of her. Wait, wait. Don't just start. Is it unwrapped? It? Honey, it's open at the bottom. That's okay. why it's pulling. Well, yeah, but I didn't have it. I didn't want it to fall out because it's gobel. I'm sure it's got some porcelain in it. No, it doesn't. Her face is porcelain. Does that sound like porcelain? Yes. Okay. Yes. Her face is porcelain. Um, Her halo is a little wire. Anyway, it's really cute. It's a really nice little gobel. Still, still in the box. New in the box. Her hands are porcelain. Little, too. yeah, little gobel angel, and tree topper. So, um, you know, I picked that up. We've still got uh, a, a few a few weeks. Well, we've got four weeks till Christmas. So, plenty of time to get some stuff mailed out. So, I did go ahead and pick up a few. Well, look at that. You could put the, the light bulb, the bulb that goes in the middle, could go all the way up in there. Like you could put a light bulb all the way yeah. up in there and then it would light up her face. Oh, I see. I think. She'd have... Red laser Sorry. shooting out of her eyes. Yeah, yeah. Her <laughs> eyeballs would be red. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe put a blue or white bulb in there. <laughs> it's your turn, baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, we, I went ahead and picked that up because, you know, a new tree topper every once in a while is an awesome thing. We put stars and angels and all Santa Clauses and all kinds of fun stuff up there. So it's kind of fun to have a tree topper different every year. And she's very pretty. She is very pretty. And she's made by Gobel. Made by Gobel. Yeah. And she's still in her box. Still in a box. Still in her original box. See here? Yeah. There's the box. And there in it says. her original box. Can you read that? I can't see it. Yeah. Yeah, it says Gobel. Yeah. All right. So I picked her up. Can you put that over there? There she is. Yeah. Now we've got some of my favorite stuff. Yeah, we, I did pick up a few pieces of glass this one first. for Tim. He wasn't with us at the Antique Trove. I didn't go to the Antique And trove. Susan, the glassy sister, one of the glassy sister was with us, and she's very good at seeing did she spotting see stuff. Did she spot this? She spotted both of these for me. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, this is Amberina. Um, I didn't see who made it. I don't think. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. No mark on the bottom. Yeah, I know. I don't know who made it, but it does it does glow up here. Glows up here where it's and red. Marina. Yeah. It doesn't really glow because it's stretched so much down here that it takes a little bit of the glow away, but up here it glows. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, very pretty vase. All right. And it's about nine inches tall. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good Here's one. another one that's beautiful. Yeah, this is really pretty. This is a piece of Fenton um, yes. silver crest with the Spanish lace. On it. Yeah. And it is just it's so about nine pretty. inches tall as well and the mark it is marked there's a mark right there I don't know if you can see it but it's right there at the edge of my finger there you can probably see it right there Fenton. Fenton. Yes. and so got that at the antique trove as well gorgeous yeah absolutely beautiful yeah I mean this was a little bit of a small haul but um, like I said didn't want to film didn't just really didn't want to film however the three of us are getting together again 
actually, and Tim and uh, Kim's husband are going to go along. I don't think Susan's is. But we're going to an outdoor market on Saturday. Today's yeah. Wednesday. And I will film there for you because that's uh, called Thieves Market and it's a really neat place. And I know you'll enjoy going along with us on that. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, hope it, like I said, you see something you like, send us an email. Shoot us an email. And Email's will, right down here. Yeah, Vintage and, and Vino you know. 3 at Gmail. Yeah. Or it might be this way. Vintage and Vino 3 at Gmail. Is, yeah. I don't know which way it is. Thanks for going along, y'all. See you guys. Bye. Bye.